Welcome everybody to X Games Minneapolis 2018. I'm your host, Jack Matrani, and over the next hour, we're gonna be showing you the sights and the sounds which made up X Games Minneapolis 2018. Everything from music, art, culture, 171 of the world's best action sports athletes going for 52 medals. But before we go inside the building, we're starting outside on the vert ramp. X Games Minneapolis 2018 began in front of 14,000 screaming fans. Skateboard Vert kicked off the action under dark, threatening skies, but it was Jimmy Wilkins who brought the thunder. Here yes, drops it in Jimmy Wilkins, who won a gold medal back in 2014. Oh, look at that start. Style for really days, Bob Bernquist. Right into five, right? Alley, you front alley, just a beautiful trick, Jimmy. Tail grab, alley, you five. Kickflip backside grab, smooth operator here, kickflip Indy. Nice crossbow lean into an Ollie five. Wow. There's no problem Bob, in the world. Still fish disaster. He's so methodical that he oh, makes man. it. Ah. That was going to be a just a stalled out backside nose. I was just going to say, he just has a way of, of making creative skateboarding look so effortless. You know, that I don't want that to be lost on fans watching at home because they may think it looks easy. What yeah, he well, just that's did is extremely difficult. Me. 89 <laughs> puts him into yeah. the top. Spot. Defending champion Moto Shibata dropped in for his second run, looking for a repeat gold. Moto is one to do it. He is the defending gold medalist here, and, and uh, he is a very strong competitor. He wants it, so he could do it. If Moto were to get gold, he joins an elite club only Bucky Lassick and PLG have ever repeated in vert. Moto starts with a backside here, which is interesting to me, but look at that trick. Oh my gosh, Moto. Okay. Every time I say he starts with back there, he does that. Look at that. Front side, front foot impossible. Faking and faking nose grab five. Good combination, Samoto. Little half cap set up into his. Yes! Rick! <laughs> front side gate twist, front foot impossible. And that. Lean fast three into a Madonna. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. That, that is that an insane. incredible yeah. run. Wilkins still held the lead when he took the second to last run of the contest. He knew Moto had one final attempt. Kickflip, backside grab, kickflip Indy. Oh my, just lost his, lost the transition there for a kickflip oh. lean. I guess watching Moto take his last run, no matter what, I was on the podium and that's pretty cool. So I was hyped, <laughs> you know, however it, played out. If Moto won again, that would be sick, you know, either way. Killing it out Whoa. the gate. Fake it, fake it, nose grab five. A little setup with the cab, but he wants this. Ah, a little squat, but he, he holds got it. on. He holds it, and he needs to keep the speed. Oh! oh <laughs> that squat took him out. Bob. Yes. What could he have was. been? He was on one, but see, he won it last year, and Jimmy, and the taste, and now with that, Jimmy, Jimmy Wilkins earns his second ever X Games gold medal. He did it back well in 2014, deserved. and he returns to the top spot here in Minneapolis. After the opening night outside on the plaza, US Bank Stadium opens its doors the next day. BMX Street was up first. Garrett Reynolds has dominated the discipline. He had won nine of the 10 X Games BMX Street contests held entering Minneapolis 2018. There was no bigger favorite at X Games. The man, the myth, and a legend of sport, Garrett Reynolds dropping in from Times River, New Jersey. Grew up with Garrett coming to my skate park. <laughs> Not surprised at all by his riding. Look at this, gap wall right to bar spin, gap to pegs to bar spin. Unbelievable start so far. He is just a machine when it comes to riding street. His style, his ability, 540 truck over the hip right there. <laughs> Straight into it, this is amazing to see. Switch truck over that hip, meaning opposite bar spin, opposite 360 as well, manual down the ledge. Look how many tricks, I'm sitting here just nonstop right. reading it <laughs> off. And, and like, as I'm saying, these are all serious moves being done. And look at that use right there. Wall ride to Barsman into the transition. Tail up down the stairs. 
And that's going to be the first run right just there. Just a full utilization of the entire course. That's, that's just That's just seeing things differently, isn't it? It's the truth. Yeah. I mean, Garrett Reynolds is one of a kind. I mean, everybody on that deck, they all see him as, you know, the guy. For a reason, he's earned it. The score is a reflection of that right there. 91-3-3. Reynolds slides into first. No real surprise there. After Reynolds laid down a strong run one, the only man to ever beat him at X Games answered with the run of his life. Chad Curley. I already knew that for the second round I was just kind of just gonna wing it, you know, and try some go a different way and just feel it and just try to ride through the energy like that. And I think that's what helped. And he is ready to get after it right now. He is currently in second place. Will he be able to get up top? 45 seconds Whoa. to tell the tale. Nice start to the run. Truck driver to flat right there. Not what we've seen out of the first time, but you know what? He knows he needs to up it if he wants to make this happen. Barspin to manual to Barspin to ice pick grind. Such a technical combination. So far, so good. Feeble to Smith to Smith. Good combination there. That's very interesting to see on the flat. Especially in X Games, those tricks are so hard to do. Just showing up, you know, at a random spot, going for it. Massive 360 oh. gap, such an awesome start to the run. And a nose wheelie, that is insane right there. So much balance, right? I can't describe to you how hard nose wheelies are. That's like my dream trick, and I was never able to do it. <laughs> and this guy has him on lock. Tie ride to bar spin. That, that was a tie ride. I messed that up. That was a nose wheelie from the angle. It was hard to see. With the second run, I didn't have too much pressure because I felt like I had already put a run down. And if I get second, that's great. Second to the dude, the king that wins everything. I'm taking that. 92, 93, 93. Jack Curley takes over. And then his second run, his feet blew off. And that's when like everybody was like hugging me and stuff already. And I was like, what? I just like, started turning up. I couldn't believe it. But we're just getting started with our Best of X Games Minneapolis show. Up next, we go sky high for BMX and skateboard big air. A little later, we'll rev up the engines for Moto X Freestyle. But first, music has always been an integral part of the X Games, and the Geico music stage went off in Minneapolis. Victoria Arlen sat down with local hip-hop legend Brother Ali to discuss how art and music have the power to bring everyone together. Now the X Games are in your hometown. There's a lot of hometown people here. What is it like to be able to perform here? It's always been really great. I mean, the music scene here is really supportive and they really love to connect with artists. And so if you really bring your heart to the stage, then they will you know, completely consume it and, and go wherever you want them to go. They've been trying to shut us down our whole life. Where your hands at? Thank God for hearing it. You ain't got to get us sleep. We got our own life. I think it's really about being true to myself. Yeah. And I try to be that way in every moment. Hey, thank God for building. You ain't gotta get us we got our own life. Just reflecting all the beauty If you can really feel a genuine connection, that's what makes it all worth it. All the beauty in this whole life. Twin City! All the beauty in this whole life. Welcome back to X Games Minneapolis 2018. Big Air is always a fan favorite. The best BMX and skateboard athletes return to the friendly confines and perfect conditions of US Bank Stadium. We started with the real cost BMX Big Air where defending gold medalist James Foster faced tough competition. Every time I get to the top of the roll and I look down it and look down the roll and see the jump and see the giant quarter pipe, you know, so far away, it's just, it's a spectacle. It's a spectacle to watch from afar and to look at it and then ride it is, is something else altogether. Once the riders dropped in, there was one guy who caught the eye of his fellow competitors. I've been telling Ryan for a couple years, hey man, come ride Mega Ramp. You got what it takes. I know you do. You just got to prove yourself. So Ryan does the forward bike flip. You know, nothing, throws the bike forward, the bike does a full front flip, he catches the bars, gets back on, rides away. I mean, he's the only person in the world doing it, and it's, it's incredible, so it's uh, really, really cool to see him do it out here. Veteran Morgan Wade was the oldest in the competition, but the 35-year-old came out on fire and immediately rocketed himself into the record books. 
Morgan was blowing me away all night. One handed double tail whip at 20 feet and then him breaking the in competition high air record for BMX Big Air, 23, almost 24 feet I think was amazing. But Foster would not be denied. He dropped in for his second run and attempted something no one had ever landed. I think about 10 seconds before I committed, I decided I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna try the quad down with. Oh, he's going oh, four! Was that four? Was I that, think that was four! I, got, I couldn't count that high! If you see my reaction, you know, I, I couldn't believe I was riding away. Did I really just pull this? <laughs> Fresh off a second Burt Gold medal, Vince Byron had a chance at a first Big Air title. What's he gonna do? Wow, massive tabletop! This time, I think he was going for a little height record himself. Official score 82, but yeah, we know from experience that was not going to score as high. That means Foster raises his hands. No, he's got another gold medal. Two years in a row, and he joins an exclusive club. I, I cannot believe it. And James Foster with back-to-back so -back wins in the real cost BMX Big Air. The high flying continued, this time with the real cost skateboard Big Air. One of skating's brightest stars is 21-year-old Mitchie Brusco of Encinitas, California. He entered Big Air with seven X Games medals, but none of them were gold. He was looking to change that. It was really weird being up there with nine other guys, and they're all on the big roll-ins, and I'm the only one on the small gap with a, with a completely different plan. And he's got an interesting start. You start from the smaller jump, because he's going to get tech. Goes for the kick to the back 180, and I think he... He's going for a 1080. So his strategy, he's going off the small jump, going kickflip back 180. And you know, I was the only one that skated it from the small gap, from the 50 foot. And that's a huge disadvantage when it comes to height and, and overall points. That means a lot to me to be able to open that door up to, to progress in a, in a different way. Elliot Sloan, the 2017 Skateboard Big Air gold medalist. Elliot's got power, consistency, and really good spins. Let's see what he chooses to do. Right into that Indy 7. Perfect execution, no problem. Into it. Oh, he's trying the nine right off the bat. And that's smart. I mean, I mean, it, it's not an easy trick. He wants every attempt possible. But it wasn't until the fourth attempt that things really started to heat up. Mitchy Brusco, right now, he's trying to get this thing lined up. He's in ninth place. He's trying to land this run. He got very close. He got close. It's the quarter that's giving him trouble right now, Bob. Very technical, very tough to land Fakey off the land. He's going for a kick to the back 180. Landing it every time, showing how consistent. Spinning really good. This might be it. Yes! Oh my gosh, Mitchy Brusco. Before I knew it, I was rolling away and then just like got this crazy like flush of emotion that just kind of like probably was everything over the last 15 years of me skating and wanting to be this moment and the last two weeks of like just imagining myself in that exact spot. It paid off for Mitchie. Look at this kickflip backside 180 Perfect. landing every time to get a 1080 attempt. Perfect solid squared up and he's like you know what if I grab pop very solid there on the takeoff kept going. It seemed like he was spinning slow, but he kept going. Whoa. He, Mitchie he Brusco. kept believing just that body awareness and very a higher landing. And we just saw a 1080 by Mitchie Brusco in Big Air 2018. This event always pushes the boundaries of progression in skateboarding. Incredible. Mitchie Brusco, a 92. Mitchie taking does over the top spot. Mitchy Bruce. All right. Well, Trey Wood wants to get a better score, and he's going to go for that mute seven. Lands it. Let's see what he goes for. Might be a body burial. Burial 540 for Trey Wood. Whoa. That was the first time he's done that. Trey and that was Wood. incredible. Says, I see your 10. Yes. Now check this out. And that's what happens when big tricks start to be landed. For a 90 for Trey Wood. He this takes over silver medal position. Clay Kreiner had the lead, <laughs> and then it was ripped away from him by Mitchy Brusco. He's now in bronze medal position. Oh, by the way, he earned bronze in this very event. I think that's from year. what's going on and from their tricks here. They're battling for silver. Uh, 
And he goes for the Indy 7. He's got That's it. That's really cool. Look at look at Clay. It's the alley oop mute five, and he gets it. Clay Kreiner, alley oop varial by 40. On the, that is insane. 91. You yeah. called it enough to get him into silver that medal position. It. Clay did a seven to alley oop varial five, and it it was one point off. And I think a 900 closes that gap. So I was just watching, you know. But I think Elliot had a real chance of winning. He's been skating a ton of mega. And uh, if anyone was ready to, to clutch it in that situation, it was him. You know, he's put in the time and in, in practice. Come on, Elliot. This is all you. And you spun the nine. And oh, you could no! not. Elliot Sloan. Oh my God. That was the closest he's been all that night. That was, and he tried to adjust. And Mitchie Brusco with his first gold medal. Wow. Oh man. Mitchie Brusco he in did his it. 11th X Games appearance finally earns that first X Games gold. It took a second, and then everyone just started like piling around me and freaking out, and it was just like, what just happened? Like, so sweet after like 11 X Games to like be wearing one of these. Mitchie Brusco wins his first X Games gold medal. When we come back, Moto X Freestyle goes off. I grew up in the 80s skating. Who would <laughs> like have thought? On a Lance Mountain deck, you know, yeah. like <laughs> here we are all these years later. I want to have some fun. I want to have some fun. Electronic music is a very young, energetic music. <laughs> so I think the I fact that we, you know, teamed up uh, with the X Games is um, exciting because I think this is uh, electronic music's the sound of now. And um, that's what the kids are listening to. So, um, you know, and the X Games is what the kids are doing. So <laughs> I think it makes a lot of it's sense. Good that, yeah, let's go out. Together. That's right. I want to have some fun, 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 fun. I mean, that's fun, why I make fun, music so, fun, so people can enjoy it. So it's cool that it's inspiring or motivating somebody to, you know, reach farther, go higher, do whatever, um, be, be their best, you know? We're back with more from the Best of X Games Minneapolis 2018. It's time for the Moto X events. Quarter pipe high air, step up, and freestyle, where star Jackson Strong and Frenchman Tom Paget were the class of the field. Strong owns multiple X Games gold medals and best tricks, but the Aussie has struggled in freestyle throughout his career. He had something to prove. <laughs> That's exactly why he needed that extra run. He needed all the speed he can get to make sure he's all the way over that landing on that front flip. That, that was, was a front flip in a freestyle run, and he put that one down, down feather smooth, and here comes the double flip. And then back to the double flip. This, is, this runs what Jacko needed. You know, freestyle has been his nemesis over the years, and, and right now he's looking solid. I'd say he's owning it as of yeah, right and, now. And going back to that front flip, that ramp's not propped up. It's not adjusted for the front flip. That's a standard, standard comp ramp that he was doing that off. And he's still got 22 plus seconds go, to go here in this first outing. And he is definitely feeling it as of right now. Got to keep her together. He almost overjumped a little step up there. Calm the nerves down. Once you do big tricks like that, it's hard to get the, the adrenaline back down and contain. Get a little too fired up, get a little over amp. We've seen that happen before to guys in freestyle coming down to the final five seconds. So as he gets turned around here behind the scrim, this will be his final attempt. This is by far the best freestyle run I've ever seen Jacko do. All his big tricks. Right, he's got one more to get through before we get, is he gonna do, oh, a front flip variation yeah, and he hangs Jacko, on. Jacko, right on, what a run. Oh, what that a run. scared me. I was Two, like, wait, you're gonna double that up? Oh, no, wait, Yeah, you're gonna add a variation. And you know, he has two runs. He could have done a, a safe run, maybe did the one front flip. Kind of got that run under his belt, but to do two in a run with the double back flip with massive flip combos. That's a, that's a gold medal run right there. He doesn't like that word safe or tame. I know. <laughs> right there, the double backflip. I mean, 
that's got to be a piece of cake to him after doing a couple front flips, you know, just stay in the tuck. And I can't believe how smooth he put that down. I mean, it was feather touch, and I mean, you don't have a lot of room to stop, let alone if you're going to turn around and go through that tunnel underneath the step down to try to get over to the other side. I mean, yeah, yeah. You've really got to be on your A game mentally out of that. Look at locking the back break up there just to keep that rotation coming around. You got to stay tucked one hand off, all the way <laughs> off, too. <laughs> nice like extension on the one hander there. Swat and right about flies. there. Yeah, right about there. You're just holding on, and you know. Right there, you can see there's water barricades, the tunnel, so if he goes flying through there, it could get ugly. All right, and we're into the 90s in round number one. Jackson Strong gets the freestyle monkey off of his back. After an error-filled first pass, Tom Piget posted one of the best freestyle runs ever witnessed. This is Francis Tom Piget. As we mentioned in round number one, he has not had much success at uh, X Games, and he had a little slip up in round number one. And again, for this run, we're going to welcome in Diana Dahlgren to the discussion. Hey, guys. Yeah, I spoke to Tom during his break, and you know what? He just accidentally shifted into third, and then it messed with his mental state. So he was just trying to reset, and hopefully he can pull together a solid second run. Well, we're about to find out right here. Oh, right oh, out of the gate, a double nice back with double. no hander. Nice. That what? was huge. Like I said, watch every single jump that Tom does here. Now that he started off good, he has everything to win this contest. Yeah, not exactly. Together. As we talked about before, he has all the ingredients. It's just what mental state is he going to be in when he gets out there. You saw him in round number one after the slip up, shaking his head. He did throw a couple of big tricks, but that ended with a straight jump. But he is on pace right now, Mike. Oh, massive three on the step down. Yeah, he, he looks, it's good to know that he shifted the third on accident. It was just. Uh, you know, an, an error, that's fine. And now he's lining up for one of these quarter pipes, and this is it. This is where he's known for throwing one of his innovative tricks, and there There's it goes, the bike, the bike flip. flip. Perfect, stomps it. Oh, Tom's actually shaved weight off his bike. His bike is 33 pounds lighter than a stock bike, so that's how he's able to kind of throw that thing around. He's going back to it. Coming down to the final 15 seconds. Nice alley-oop. This is a solid run. This is the Tom we were talking about all night. This is the guy that we've talked about that has won multiple X Fighters championships in the past. Got to hang on for five more seconds. He's the guy that could shake up this Aussie podium, and his time expires. He has done it. Attaboy, Tom. We knew you had it in you. Still going. He's feeling it. That was, he needed oh, that. There you go. You can see that he's feeling it, but man, uh, that's that pressure. mental hang up that we've talked about, sometimes that's enough to just throw him off for an entire night. We've seen that time and time again in competitions in the past. I think he's worked too hard for this one. He, you know, like I said, it was just a mental error and you can fix that. So right out of the gate, in Look a double backflip, he takes the hands off. Yep. Like I said before, the foot's hooked in there to keep him glued to that bike. I don't know how the bike keeps rotating when their hands are off it. It makes no sense to me. And none of that makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, perfect length. But each year, too. it's like you think something can't be done, and then it gets done, and then and it becomes the norm. Yep. Bike flip, grabs the seat, pulls it back under him. Like, these are video game tricks. Hey, exactly. You know, I mean, there's, there's nobody else doing these tricks, and that's why Tom's run is so unique. And then, again, yeah, that, it was it. <laughs> The oh, he's 60. Right. We didn't see the replay off. So again, oh, 92.33. Yeah, so we have a new leader. Uh, so there goes your Aussie sweep of the podium. The Frenchman sits in the top spot right now. Jackson Strong slides to silver. Rob Adelberg uh, slides to bronze. So Tom Pajez is going to walk out of here with an X Games Moto X freestyle gold. Well, it's um, having this gold medal here. It's like uh, I don't know, a dream come true. I've been. I mean, at first my dream was to be part of the A's game, you know, but since uh, be, getting this goal was, uh, became a dream, so um, yeah, it's like, uh, wow, unbelievable. In quarter pipe high air, young gun Axel Hodges was in first place entering run three with a towering jump of 33 feet two inches. Axel widened the gap with his final attempt. Yeah, he, he's a young kid. He's, he's in the spotlight right now. No reason not to go big. Sending it <laughs> there you from go. that angle oh, all, all the way to the bottom of the landing. Into the rafters. Yeah, he, that he, angle's crazy. Look at right there, just floating. 34 feet, three inches this time around. That's so massive. He's gone higher and higher. Tyler Berriman, he's already on the podium. What's, what oh. color will that medal be? And just boosting that one out. And if you're wondering, and you're sitting there on the couch and you're watching this, like, what, what kind of hang time that is? That's about four seconds. Oh, look at him turning the bars a little bit yeah. right there. Yeah, and four seconds on a motorcycle up in the air feels like about 20, you know? 
Colby Raha. But it all comes down to this. He's assured of silver. Can he get another gold? Oh, good height. Good try. What is it going to be? You think it's not going to be enough, and that you think Axel Hodges oh, is going oh, to get oh. it, and Axel Hodges does. Number one, baby. Lightproof Moto X Step Up always is a crowd pleaser. Think of it as a high jump, but on motorcycles. When the height reached a massive 41 feet, only Jared McNeil, Lieber Podmol, and Colby Raha to clear the bar. So it was raised again, but this time to 43 feet. That's as tall as a four-story building. There is Libor Podmol. Here we go. Can he get over the bar? And 43 and no. He's going to nose tap it. Front tire in. Colby Raha. Yeah, it's getting hard. Jared McNeil has to get over the bar here. If he does, this would be a third straight step up gold medal for him. Can he make it over that bar at 43 feet? Oh, yeah. he does. He looks back. Oh, man. Right on, Jared. Props to Jared McNeil, who earned his third straight step up gold. Coming up next, we drop into the park and check in with groundbreaking artist Ice Cube. Don't miss it. Here at X Games, we not only celebrate the best action sports athletes in the world, we celebrate the culture and we celebrate the art. We partnered up with local artists who have created the most beautiful art installations all over US Bank Stadium. And then this activation right here, which I just stumbled upon, the history of skate. It's so cool to see how far skateboards and skateboarding has come. I mean, look, they've attached roller skate wheels onto a piece of wood in 1958 so that when there was no waves, they could surf the sidewalks. So come check this out. see all the way here from wood and then we go fiberglass it's just experimenting innovating Look at this one's a metal top Look at this clear skateboard right here they really tried everything big shout out to the skateboarding hall of fame and museum for setting this up there's no better place to have the history of skate museum than at x games because you get to see the history and then you walk out these doors right there you see where it's at today, and it's just mind-blowing. This is a pretty iconic photo right here. Don't be a clone. Skateboarding is all about self-expression, style, creativity. Look at what a half-pipe used to look like way back in the day. You can tell this is a really old black and white photo on this just ramp that they pretty much just built out of whatever was laying around that day and probably had just as much fun as skaters are having right now on vert ramps. Got the Hosoi Pro model right here. Yeah, are you kidding me? Steve Caballero right here. Used to play him in Tony Hawk Pro Skater growing up. The legend. It's amazing how skateboarding is this culture with no end to it. I mean, it's infinite possibilities on what you can do and you just see the endless progression. You really can feel the history and see how far skateboarding's come in 50 years. Now I can't wait to see where it goes in the next 50 years. It's gonna be awesome! Park is perhaps the fastest growing skateboard discipline. At X Games, the park contests are stacked with up and coming superstars. In Toyota Men's Skateboard Park, Alex Sergente's fellow skaters had some fun with him right before he dropped in. It was kind of funny, I was kind of laughing because they had me on the Jumbotron and I had this like interview I did for x Games, and I said some like weird stuff about moving to Indonesia and like opening a restaurant or something like that. One day I just want to like move to Indonesia and just like open a restaurant, like a hotel restaurant type vibe and just like kick it, surf and skate all the time. That's the dream. <laughs> and they showed it on the Jumbotron and the homies are all like laughing at me. 
you know, like all like all the boys just like, oh, like, and I was like, yeah, everyone can laugh at me, whatever. So that was my first, like, that's how it all started. So Alex Sorgente, hopefully before he goes to Indonesia, he'll skate a little more here at X Games. The guy like pointed at me, all right, time to go. And right into that corner. Very creative, he's got a nose grind on, the, on that rail. Nose pig stall there. Packing it up, back Smith on the big wall. Nice, staying on the wall. People grind fakey, all right. With the half cap 50-50 on the big, very technical trick for that big obstacle there, Alex. With an alley cube wall ride, that was incredibly hard. Alex with the very risky trick choices here. <laughs> Throwing in the judo for good measure and the kickflip in. <laughs> oh man, that was loose. Alex thinking about it and landing them. Whoa. Came out of the bowl. All my bros, like Zion, Midler, all the bros are right there, you know. I was just like, what? Threw my board down. I felt so good, man. Just all the homies were right there just cheering me on. You know, everyone started jumping. I was just like, I had to like just live in the moment and just get super stoked. The whole list went through. Still no one beat me, no one beat me, no one beat me. We got down to Tom. And Tom looked at me and he was like, oh, you got it. He's like, you got it. I was like, no way. He's like, go. Front blunt on the big Whoa. wall. I don't know he got speed after that, but that's okay. Final yes, 10 Tom seconds. Tail stall. Tom has got an incredible run together. A couple more tricks. Oh, no. no. The that was it. I won the uncomfortable. So Alex Sorgente wins his second consecutive gold medals. On the women's side, youth was the story. 2017 champ Brighton Zoyner just turned 14 years old. And her biggest competition? Australia Sabre Norris, and she's only 13. But she would never know it from the high level of skating. All the girls were killing it, and Sabre did a 540. One of three girls yes. in the world that even does that! And she does oh it here at X Games! The most consistent uh, by far. That definitely was, you know, pushed me to skate my best. Here she goes, she did that three over the box jump. My second run, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna try this kickflip on a bank, and I didn't do it once in practice. Oh my gosh, kickflip on the bank. She's stepping it up, putting a flip trick in her run. She has the spin, she has the grind, now she has a flip trick, and she has the airs. That's all of the categories, pretty much. I definitely believe if she holds on to this run, it is gonna up her score, even though she's already leading. Wow. She is coming in backwards to the gay twist, spinning even more. She could have played it safe and just tried to do a slight cleanup. But here she is stepping it up. Wow. Ending in that. Wow. So here's Jordan Barrett, our silver medalist from last year. She is the only person left that could potentially knock out Bright Zoyner. Frontside grind through the corner. Boneless on the bank. Oh no! Oh. And that's it. Oh my Zoyner! She goes down halfway through her run, and with that, Bright Zoyner is guaranteed a second gold medal. I've never won two gold medals, so this is all, you know, new emotions. And I mean, I'm just, I'm really happy inside, very happy. After the break, we race to the finish line with Harley Davidson Flat Track Racing. But first, Victoria Arlen visits the reborn Minneapolis landmark, the Armory, to meet who other than the iconic Ice Cube. With the X Games, it's all about like forging a new path and, and uh, making a new way and creating something that wasn't there. Like hip hop, it wasn't there, and it was an industry created out of passion, and, and that's what I think the X Games is about an industry created out of passion. Talk to me about um, Only One Me, and what does that song mean to you? Well, it's really all about taking your place. If you're an original, uh, you should take your place and let people know that you are original and uh, everything kind of comes after you in, in, in so many ways. 
letting people know, um, you know, it's only one me. There's a lot of you. There's only one of me. Damn, I'm not confused. You know what? Original. Original. Yo, what's up? This your homie Ice Cube, but you know what this is. This is the world of X Games. What you thought? Welcome back to X Games Minneapolis 2018. In a first, Harley Davidson flat track racing was held indoors. Crews powered through the night and miraculously transformed the floor of US Bank Stadium. And just like that, we woke up Sunday morning to a fresh flat track course. 2017 silver medalist Jared Meese entered the final with a plan. We got the bike right and we qualified okay. Fourth, uh, won the heat, won the semi, and. I wanted to start on the pole for the main event, and we did, but I did not get the whole shot. I had to bump Jeffrey Carver out of the way. Now they're stacking him up. The leader makes a mistake. Here comes Meese up the inside. No mistakes. You cannot make a mistake. Carver goes from first all the way back to fourth. Away we went. You know, these indoor races like this, you got to be smooth and hit your marks and not make mistakes, and that's what wins these races. Wow, this is good, getting good here at Bowman. It's starting to press Jared Meese right there. These two riders out front, Briar Bauman actually stayed with Meese over the winter time down in Florida and trained with them. So he rides with them. He knows what he's doing and he's tracking down the leader. So we are at lap 12 out of 20. Again, this is the Harley Davidson flat track racing final. This is the last race. This one is for the medals here in X Games Minneapolis 2018. Your defending gold medalist currently sits in a bronze medal position. And last year's silver medalist, Jared Meese, currently sits in the gold medal spot. Yeah, once I got by Carver, I looked back and Bauman was putting a little pressure on me and I didn't want to, I knew to go faster, I need to open up my corners a little bit to get the drive, but I didn't want to open them up too much to let them underneath. And then all of a sudden I look back and he was a pretty big distance, so I don't know if something happened to his bike or if he made just a big mistake, but I was basically on cruise control for about half the race on and uh, felt good to have a good gap and know that, hey, if I just walk in and out of these corners, I'll be okay. So the white flag is out. We are on the final lap. It's still Mies, Bauman, Halford, Briar Bauman potentially looking at his first flat track medal here at the X Games. He's doing Here's everything. John here chasing. comes Sammy. Oh, Sammy goes down. Oh, come on. Sammy stuck it in the inside, going for silver. Meese takes the victory, and man, he is, he's showing you that this guy is so laser focused, Jimmy. He's won on nine out of 11 races on the American Flat Track Series, and he's showing you what he got. You know, it's what's cool about X Games. It's a, it's a great event, great for our sport, great, great exposure for us. So yeah, it was great to come in and, and get, a, get a gold medal. Don't move, we still have BMX Dirt and a battle royale among the world's best in Monster Energy men's skateboard street. But before we wrap, Victoria Arlen learns what inspires our final X Games music artist, Zed. I just grew up with classical music and you know, my parents taught me uh, to play the piano and the theory behind that. So when I, when I write a song, um, I want to make sure that it's harmonically flawless. For me, it's just a thing. I grew up like that, and uh, I write music that you know is supposed to make sense harmonically. You're the only one who can up and run. Leave me just as empty as the day you came. Basically, I see music when you create it as a combination of thousands of songs that you listen to, that you have experienced, that you like, and then your brain puzzles together something new created out of all the inspiration that you gained from all the other great musicians. So. Uh, I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for a lot of amazing musicians that did this before me. ESPN and X Games Minneapolis would like to thank our official partners. Fruit of the Loom. Harley Davidson. Life Proof. Monster Energy. Next care, Pacifico, SoFi, The Real Cost, and Toyota. Thank you for supporting this great event. Fruit of the Loom BMX Dirt is always a fan favorite, and this year was no exception. Defending champion and local boy Colton Walker rode well, but it was Brian Fox who held the early lead. To 720, straight into the double back flip. He's got the rotation. Straight into a truck driver. Now onto the last set. What's he gonna do? Back flip tail whip, and he's gonna end things off in the quarter pipe with a flare bar skater. Oh. 
until 2017, dirt medalist Logan Martin absolutely destroyed the course. The late tail whip, squeezing the pedal in there, triple tail whip the second one, another pedal, 720, Barsman yeah. to Barsman over the last one, and a flare downside tail whip. Martin's score held until late in the contest when fellow Aussie Brandon Lupos dropped in. I was nervous, but at the same time, I was just thinking like, you know what to do, go and do it. Currently on the outside looking in, fourth place, third and final run. This is his last chance, let's see if he ups it. Double back with again, landing this time, going for the cash roll. Pumping in, can he get this triple tail whip? Come yes, on, what's baby. he gonna give us on the quarter pipe? Come on! The flare double tail whip, yes. and he away yes. with that one! <laughs> Absolutely insane run for Brandon Lupos at a crucial time. He is freaking out right now, and I do not blame him one bit. This is down to it right here, defending champ, Colton Walker. Local kid, he was a rookie last year. He's our youngest in our field here. The final run, he has the tricks. Can he put it together right now? There's the back of the late tail of landing perfect. Bumping in the 360 double downside whip. No, no. his foot came up and he has to bail out. That, so that means. That means, there you go, the Aussie, Brandon Lupos. Like, I've had dreams about this. I've, wanted this my whole life and my, this is my first ever ever medal and it, it, it's a gold medal. <laughs> X Games Minneapolis 2018 featured one of the most exciting skateboard street contests in history. Two-time defending Monster Energy Skateboard Street champ Kelvin Hoffler faced Nigel Houston, the greatest contest street skater of all time. But young guns like Jagger Eaton and Yuto Horigami made this contest one for the ages. Nija Houston, 16th X Games appearance. Trying to get back in the podium. I think we're going to see an entirely different Nija than what we saw on run number one. Oh, for sure. One inch switch crook to forward is low key out of line, but he's been doing it for a long time. He's won this event seven times, but the last win coming in 2016 in Oslo, Norway. Oh, you seen him almost in his truck right there? A blunt flip. Oh man. Not just oh, X man. Games, it's been a minute oh, since man. Nigel Houston has won oh, an event. Man. You know he's hungry, Gary. Oh, I've seen this before. I've seen this. Oh, he just did it. There goes right. that man. All right. All the right. human cheat code is back. Nija Houston doing what Nija Houston does here on run number two. The nollie he'll nose blunt, it flipped perfect. As literally as soon as I flipped it, I knew it was going down. And uh, it felt so good to land it. I hadn't even landed one in practice. A 93 for Nija Houston. Back on top, Yuto Horagome. Again, another guy with the talent, with the bag of tricks to win this event outright. Yuto Horagome, the machine. Look at that claim. That's the most emotion I've actually ever seen him show. An 89, he does just enough. Jagger Eaton, what can he do on his final run? I'm thinking if he messes with a switch foot back lip or something. Trying to skate away with the medal here at X Games Minneapolis. There it is. Man, bro, that blunt front side flip is neat. And Jagger saving his best run for last. Can he close it out? Told you. Yes, he can. That was the run we were waiting for from Jagger, eating the fans on their feet here in the stadium. A 90.33, Jagger Eaton jumps up into silver medal position. Right True. now, Kelvin Hoffler's got to lay it all out on the line. Bro, what? Hey, yo, he hey, stays on he the board. Backside flip, switch front Hold crook. on. Hey, he won, bro. He just backside flip, switch front crook, bro. That's a wrap. It's a wrap, bro. He it's shook himself. Bro, it's a wrap, bro. Nah, I'm dead. Nah, we out of here. Get on, nah. Can he hold on though, bro, Gary? Can he hold on? If he don't win, if he don't win, we done, bro. For real, no. Hey, I'm not TV excited for nothing, bro. That trick, nah, bro. Stop, bro. I don't care. I ain't trying to get hype because nothing. 89.66. So with that, bro, Nigel Houston 
records his eighth street gold medal. Back on top for the first time at X Games uh, since 2016. Relieving for me, you know, puts a lot of pressure off on myself just to know that I'm still capable of being out there and keeping up with these guys and being out there and uh, being able to win because uh, that's all I care about. And that is going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us on our Best of X Games Minneapolis 2018 show. I'm Jack Matrani, and I could not be more excited for what is next. X Games Sydney in October. Book your flights. Huge congratulations to all the athletes, and big shout out to the crew for making this dream possible. We'll see you in Sydney. Peace.